Good morning. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us through this week safe and sound, Lord God. Thank you for keeping us covered of your wrath and of all her harm and danger, Lord. Thank you for helping us get through the good times and the bad times. Just help us to remember to keep our eyes on you, to not let flesh rise, and to just stay in spirit as much as possible, Lord God. For we can't be perfect in the world that's already been established, but we can be perfect in you by remaining repentant to you, by asking you for forgiveness when we do wrong, by being good unto one another no matter how hard it is, no matter what it is we continue to pray for each other and even asking you to circumcise our hearts when for those who, that is hard for us to love and hard for us to pray for so thank you lord god for using us and using me as the vessel god to speak to your people to serve your people to teach your people help me more each and every day so i can con cautiously live by your word lord god help me each day to be the example to be the bright light to be of courage lord god to not be afraid to speak your word lord god for you said that if i deny you in front of my friends you will deny me in front of your father we both don't want that to happen so i thank you lord god continue to use me lord god to speak to your people continue to bring in peace back the body of christ removing and revealing all of those who claim to do things in your name but don't do it in your name continue to remove those who aren't doing anything in your will and replace them with the people that are lord god help us to not condemn the world lord god for we do have the right to judge righteously we do have the right to stand up for what's right but we don't have the right to demean we don't have the right to degrade we don't have the right to talk down on anybody just because they're not in the will of god i want to pray for those in the music industry in the film industry and even out here in the normal world lord god who blaspheme against you lord god who mock you for they know not what they do and even if they they know what they're doing god please i know it's an unforgivable sin but have mercy on them anyways and i pray to you god that they draw that you draw them closer to you lord god that they see the error of their ways i pray that you continue to send people to them to show them what's right lord and that at some point they open their eyes and when they open their eyes it's already not too late we thank you for being our father thank you for being our healer thank you for being our peacemaker thank you for being our joy and happiness and i pray that this next week is full of abundant blessings abundant blessings for those who are addicts drunkards for those who are prostitutes pimps for those who are homeless and hungry and unemployed for those who are out there who have a roof but are hungry for those in our government please continue to watch over our government and help them to make good rules and policies for the good of the people not for the good of themselves and remove every single vessel in that government that is not working according to your will continue to reveal to us god what's going on that is not of you so we know what not to do and how to act accordingly we thank you for being our messenger lord god thank you for the holy spirit that dwells in us that tells us when something is wrong for the holy spirit that gives us the words to say when we don't know what to say thank Thank you for making prayers out of our aching grows inside as your word says and we thank you for always just being there for us i pray that this week is full of happiness and joy help us to not let our fellow brothers and sisters get under our skin but to pray for them and to show them love because when we show them love we're teaching them how to love it doesn't matter lord god and it's not our business to know as to why they act that way we're supposed to just do your work and represent you in jesus name so our final words i pray that we stay out of your business and be about your business. In Jesus' name, amen.